And it was at this very moment where I told myself, girl, get up. Be more intentional. Funny thing is, I always considered myself an intentional person from the things I ate to taking care of my body, like working out, to what I wore, the company I kept, and most importantly, my spiritual life. But life sometimes throws a curveball at you and shatter the fragile looking glass you call perspective. And now you have to pick up all the pieces and start from scratch. And in my special case, I begin to realize this is exactly what I prayed for. And that's to know him, my savior, Jesus Christ. for the gym just trying to be more intentional trying to get myself out of a rut that I've been in I would say for the past couple weeks I've been like my mood is fine but I just still haven't um, gotten into a routine so right now I'm just gonna do a weight check Ooh, I know I've put on some pounds in the last I would say six months well since working out I build muscle pretty fast so that's why I'm not being too hard on myself right now Hey guys, just got done with the gym. I'm just gonna wash up, do some skincare because I feel like my skin just looks so dull. I can't wait to start getting facials again once I find a good esthetician. I'm trying this new a microcurrent that I got from Everton. I did this twice about two weeks ago and then I just stopped because it was just hard for me to get in a routine. So because I'm doing things intentionally this week, I wanted to bring this back out. And I'm excited because um, I did notice a difference. I did notice like firmness in my skin, bright brightening. I heard it's really good to try with like a really thick liquid. I read that if you use ultrasound gel, it actually works better with it, so yeah, I'm just gonna give it a try. love the difference in the solubility that the ultrasound gel provided because with the cream or any type of soluble base like a hyaluronic acid it would like dry out but with the ultrasound gel it's still like it's so thick and it provided like I didn't have to keep reapplying because it's recommended not to do this on dry skin so I highly recommend using ultrasound gel now I'm just gonna get in the shower wash my face Get ready for the day. Talk soon. Hey guys. One thing about me is when I'm home, I'm home. And being a chronic homebody, and to all my chronic homebodies out there, you already know, once we're inside, we are inside, okay? I was supposed to go schedule to get a wax for my armpit and my hoo-ha but i think i'm just gonna reschedule because i kind of don't want to go out anymore and i am i'm doing this whole being more intentional vlog to hold myself accountable um i don't know how long i'm gonna do this i don't know if it's gonna be every day or every other day i just want to get back in a routine and what better way than to get back into a routine or be held accountable by documenting everything and i feel like vlogging really helps me do that i'm just here having breakfast, my oatmeal. I went to the gym today, so I really wanted something that would fill me up. And my bagel, it's a tuna bagel actually, not just a bagel, a tuna bagel. 
very good very good hallelujah sorry for presentation guys yeah i'm not i'm i'm getting better with presentation so like i said i'm starting this journey on becoming more intentional because i moved back home and one thing about moving back home is it's very humbling you know to be being on your own for about like seven and a half years then coming back home i had to get out a very traumatizing and a very cyclic pattern that i was in coming back home i felt like you know i'm starting from scratch because i told god you know i want to do this with you i want to have build my relationship with you since i've been saved that's all i've wanted to do is said god i want to know you i want to know you and like i said in my previous blog or like i said before um he had to show me who he wasn't for me to finally get to know who he is and you know i'm also on this walk of purity and doing things the right way not that i don't mess up not that i don't deal with temptations but you know just being very vulnerable all this to say i am doing this intentional being more intentional vlog to help me on this journey and i just want to be transparent as possible and bring you guys along in this journey as well so yeah so i'm just gonna enjoy my oatmeal and my bagel and we'll talk soon guys later Hey guys, I know I said I wasn't leaving the house after I got back from the gym, after I ate, after I cleaned, but guess where we are? I'm gonna call this progress because again, I'm trying to be more intentional to do the things that I say I'm gonna do and finish them. So I made it to European Wax Center to get these pits done. Backstory, I don't know if you guys know that I had a chemical burn on my arm using Nair, um, but it's totally not Nair's fault. I've been using Nair for years, but yeah, I got a chemical burn using Nair, and around the same time, I was using glycolic acid, so it just caused a chemical reaction. It just left a horrible mark. I think I did a vlog a couple, a couple vlogs back um, about it, but right now it's healing, so I just said that I will not go back to Nairing. Like, it's either shaving, um, but shaving just doesn't last long enough for me. So I opted in to try waxing. So this would be my second time waxing. The first wax that I did was a Brazilian wax. Bold, I know. Was it painful? Yes. Will I go back? Yes. Because I got my wax right before I went on vacation. And till now, it's like, I'm good. I wish I would have done waxing a long time ago. I'm so new to this. I'm such a punk. Like, I kind of want to reverse because uh, actually after doing the Brazilian wax, this shouldn't be as bad because that was bad. I'm not even going to try to front. That was really bad. Armpits shouldn't be too crazy because the Brazilian wax, um, that was bad. Like, I'm surprised how calm I was doing the Brazilian wax because I think the wax lady that I got, she's close friends with my sister or they knew each other in high school. They were really close in high school. I think it was all because of her because I was trying to keep my cool to not embarrass my sister. I feel like my emotion just went on shutdown. You know, you ever been so scared that you just shut down? I'm an introvert in nature, so ain't no freaking out. But I was very, I was very much so in pain. But again, the benefits are is great. I absolutely love it. I feel like I'm just crushing things one by one. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> hey guys just got done with the wax it was an awesome experience my esthetician her name is vanessa so you guys if you're ever in european wax center in maze landing come see vanessa that girl is 10 out of 10 customer service attention to detail everything like it was just such an awesome experience. I'm, I still feel a little shaky because like I said, I'm a baby. I didn't just do the armpits. I went ahead and did the Brazilian again and again. 
awesome experience. It's been about a month and it wasn't much down there, but I said, why not just get it all out? You know, why wait till there's more? So I just opted in to do both underarms in Brazilian and I just feel so amazing. Yeah, so thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, European Wax Center. Again, 10 out of 10 experience, like awesome. Now time to get back home and do these nails. Horrid, horrid. All right, I'm doing my nails by myself for the very first time. We will see how this goes. All right, guys. Eek. See you at the crib. Hey guys, so I just finished filming for another video. It's a DIY um, hair, nails, and lashes. I don't know if you guys can see, I just did the lashes. I feel like I got everything that I needed to get done in my checklist done today. I'm pretty happy about that. Again, this is all about me becoming more intentional in 2024, you know, and getting back into a routine. I think I'm just gonna take it down, go to bed and do it all tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm gonna film tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it every day or every other day, but I feel like I should try to do it every day and see how it turns out because I still have to edit and all that. But we'll see guys. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely talk later. Bye now. I'ma keep winning, winning. I'ma keep winning, winning. You can never take away his feelings. I'ma keep winning, winning. You can try to.